What's up everybody? I'm here with a review of the Indy slider. Uh, it's from Indy Systems. It comes in uh, three different... This is the Indy slider mini though. There's another one, the Indy slider pro. The Indy slider mini comes in uh, three different packages. You can get the standard. It's just the slider. Uh, if we could put this on the tripod. And the next option is the one that comes with the leg, so it can balance when you're on the floor. Uh, I didn't go with that because I felt like I could level it any way I want. And it was extra like $15 or whatever. whatever. Um, the last one is, it comes with the legs and a, a pistol grip, which is pretty cool. But you can probably buy your own pistol grip or some people already have it. Um, so this came out to about, it was $100, but with tax it came out to like $115. The second option, which is the legs and um, the slider, is about 130. Then the uh, last option is like 170 over. You can actually build the slider yourself. There's a lot of do-it-yourself um, sliders out there. They teach you how to build it, but uh, I'm not the type of guy to go and build my own stuff. I just don't. I'd rather just buy it. Um, so, uh, basically, it's really simple. You just pop the camera on here. There's a little. They come with screws, and you can screw it on here to keep the camera somewhat tight. And I usually pull the camera up as I'm sliding, so it can keep it from wobbling a little bit. Um, and here's where you put your base plate on, and you mount on your tripod. Uh, overall, we. We went on a shoot yesterday, and you can check out the behind the scenes video of what we did and how that turned out. But um, overall, we are like we're really we really like the um, indie slider. It does have some issues that if you're using like a, a little cheap tripod like we often use because we're usually running in and out areas, um, it, it it wobbles a little bit on a tripod, so. You gotta kind of like sometimes do more than one take to get it smooth, or you just gotta come with uh, some type of technique. Uh, I usually sometimes have somebody else hold the other side and I slide, or I will um, use the pull up method. Um, well, often slides more when you use the DSLR with the lens because the weight of the lens. But uh, I'm gonna show you some test shots, some test footage. It's not shot with the DSLR that we often use with the 15 to 55 millimeter lens. It's shot with the SR11, um, the camera that's recording this right now. So uh, I'll get that to you right, right now. Also, the behind the scenes the footage was also shot with this SR11. When you, if you watch that video and the actual um, footage from the scenes that we were trying to make. It is shot with DSLR. So, here's some test footage.
slide at 8.5 out of 10 because of the sometimes you gotta work around the wobbleness of it if when you're on your tripod and sometimes when you slide here it'll get it'll move slightly and it's just sometimes it'll go like this and it'll move a little bit so but then again that's not their fault, so I don't know if um it's really stable on um higher end tripods. I'm not sure, but for my use, it's an 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. Just like anything, you just gotta work around some stuff and get your technique now. All right, this is Nate Sean from Floppy Works. See you later.